My name is John Giles and this is a brief video I put together about my career. As long as I can recall, I've always been an animal lover. I was the kind of person that gravitated towards people's pets when I went to visit. I always found the injured and unwanted critters, so I guess it was no big surprise that I ended up working with animals. At the Kansas City Zoo, I was a zookeeper and animal trainer. I was one of the few zookeepers that didn't disappear when the public showed up. I enjoyed sharing the animals and often worked in the education department. I did sea lion shows, bird shows, and other animal encounters. I was the Life Sciences Manager at Orlando Science Center. My staff volunteers and I worked with the live animals. We did an animal show in the theater. In NatureWorks, we did gator feedings and other animal encounters. We did educational programs, including the Circle of Life game. This was an animal trivia game I invented, and I always had a blast doing it. I was the assistant curator of the Florida Audubon Society Center for Birds of Prey. We rehabilitated injured and orphaned eagles, falcons, vultures, kites, and hawks. But my favorites were always the owls. I was an advocate for wild animals and one important responsibility was educating the public in person and through the press. My first real job was working at the bird show at the Miami Zoo. There I learned to speak to the public and to train animals. I loved it, it was a great first job. Now I work for Orange County Public Schools as a teacher. For over six years I was the science lab teacher at Rock Lake Elementary. I taught science to K through fifth grade and had a popular science club. It was a great job and a great school. I've also taught 2nd, 3rd, and 4th grade at Palmetto Elementary and Audubon Park Elementary, where I focused on science, technology, engineering, and math. I'm currently teaching science at Glen Ridge Middle School. I've been sharing information about the natural world my whole life. I'm happy to be doing exactly that in a classroom in such a terrific school. I consider myself very lucky to have had such a rich, varied career. It's always been very important to me to make a difference in the world. 
I can only hope that when I lie on my deathbed and my life flashes before my eyes, I'll see the faces of the animals and the kids whose lives I've impacted.